Welcome to the lesson on memberships and bundles. This is a fairly straightforward approach in the system. This is really valuable for people that have multiple courses or are bundling courses and communities. And I find this to be extremely helpful to my clients that are, you know, maybe fans of your work. And they want to invest in multiple courses and, and you, can, you can give them some discounts in a bundle or you can just make it convenient for them to pay the same price but have all these courses bundled in a single purchase instead of having to make several individual purchases. So let's look at where we find this. So we, again, we're going to be in the um, manage learning products tab here and we're going to scroll down to memberships and bundles. And when you haven't yet loaded a bundle, this is going to be blank, right? There is no bundle to search for and there's nothing to display. So once we want to bundle products, we can click new bundle and we're going to name this bundle. We're just going to call it the test bundle. Not, not the very creative of me, I get it. And we create the bundle. Now it's going to bring me to this bundle building page, if you will. So what products are we going to put in the bundle? That's the first highlighted tab here. And we have to go all the way over here and we can select all the different products that are in our system. So as I indicated in the opening, we can do courses and communities. So I'm going to take the daily thinkers community and I'm going to add that. It's just that quick. And now I want to add the course tutorial as well. So if, if someone wants to, they can purchase a bundle of the course tutorial and the daily thinkers community in one purchase. Now I have the opportunity to name the bundle, like which we already did when we created it, but I can come in here and change this if I want. The bundle URL, just like a course, is going to be preloaded. They're going to show you a preview of that entire URL just below that. So you have the opportunity, you can change this if you want. You can just put bundle one instead of test bundle if you want, or you can you can call it uh, the, the preview bundle or the loyalty package, whatever you want to call it, you can call it. And you just have to make sure that if you use multiple words that you use the dash between them to maintain some semblance of continuity with the other pages on your site if you're really picky about that kind of thing. Now, you have the opportunity, again, just like with courses, to either make them fully visible, which it is right now because neither of these two blocks are checked. But if I want to, I can choose between a private and hidden bundle. And again, just like with courses, private means it's visible to the public. If people come to my Thinkific site and see my course list uh, and my communities list, they will be able to see um, the bundle, right? They'll be able to see this bundle listed in my offers. And they can request access. You have to grant access. That's that's what makes it private. You can't just purchase it at two o'clock in the morning while everyone's sleeping and gain access to the community. You have to submit your request and then it has to be granted by admin. The second option here is the hidden bundle. And that means it will not appear on your website and you can share this with people specifically by providing them the direct link to the community. So you would provide them the link and that would be how they find it, right? That's how they would be able to identify the location of this bundle. You would obviously want to tell them what it was that you were sending them and explain to them why they are being granted access to that bundle. Because they didn't go in there and find it and they didn't send you a request unless someone told them to. So the hidden bundle means no one, no one can see it outside of your site or on your site. Okay, so just like with courses, you can upload a, an image. Again, same dimension size of image. And then you can put a description down here. All right, this bundle saves money on the purchase of the daily thinkers community on the, oh, what was that course? <laughs> Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. So let's just say test course. <laughs> That's the thing we're doing right now. Okay, so let's hit save. Always hit save, right? Okay, we've got save in there. So we've done our basic settings. We've done our bundle image and description. Now we can go down and do our SEO. 
not going to drag you through this again. You've seen me load SEO in the previous lesson on communities, and you've seen me also load it in the discussions about uh, course settings. So I'll, I'll spare you the agony here of having to see me do it a third time. Uh, the only difference between the SEO and page code option here and what you saw in communities is communities did not include the page code. All right, so they didn't in include a JavaScript code ability, which means like you can put certain script tags in here for this bundle. You can put a person's name, a price, or sorry, a product's name, a price, a product ID, a bundle ID. You can you can bracket those. You can use script tags here, um, but you you can't do that on the communities page. Okay, so now you've got the yes, it's fine. Let's go ahead and hit save one more time. It'll let me leave. Okay. So for pricing, we have the same options that we have in courses and communities, free, one-time payment, subscription, monthly payment, and setting additional prices. So if you have questions about this, check out the pricing settings lesson, and you'll be wowed with how easy this is to set up, but there's a lot to consider here. So if you're seeing this, if you're jumping around in the player, and you're watching this lesson before you're watching the pricing settings lesson, I encourage you to go check that one out because I go into detail about what you have to consider when choosing your pricing options. Okay, you also have the opportunity to set up after purchase flows. We covered that in the after purchase flows lessons. So again, I won't drag you through the mud here. Go check out the after purchase flows, both the pricing settings and after purchase flows. And publish lessons are included under course settings. I will show you this one though, because it's just one button, right? So once you hit publish, now you can see this on our site. So you can preview the bundle and you can also build a landing page. So yes, just like your, your, your courses, your bundle is going to have a landing page, okay? And it comes with this preloaded uh, blocks, right? Site builder blocks in the landing page. So if you do nothing else, it will automatically populate the words that you included in the title and the description, and it'll show what products are included in the bundle. So if I go to bundle includes, right, I have the option to do a heading change. I can change that heading. I can also change the layout, but it's going to automatically populate that once those courses are published. So right now they're not, they're not published. Okay. You do have the opportunity to change some theme settings while you're here as well. Let's back out of this. And then the other option you have here is to preview the bundle. And so this takes you to the bundle page and it shows you what, what, your, what your bundle is going to look like if people come to your site and put that URL in for the bundle, right? So if, you, if they have access to that bundle link, this is what it's going to show up. This is the landing page we just looked at. Instead of building the landing page, they're just showing you what it looks like. I would be able to enroll here by clicking that button. And now that bundle would be included in my dashboard, right? But we're going to have a problem because we didn't turn that course on. We didn't publish the course, but the Daily Thinkers community is in here. So let's go back. All right. So pretty simple. Um, Let's say you want to see this from out here. Now that I come back to the to the memberships and bundles link in the left hand tab um, navigation panel here, you can see that we we have that test bundle we loaded. It is published, and if I want to, I can preview it or edit it just by clicking on the ellipses here. If I want to share the bundle, I can click on the share icon here and share a link for the bundle. If I click on it, it gives me the ability to share it to socials as well. So if you have your Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter accounts um, at the ready, it will give you a link to the test bundle and you can post that on your social media. And of course, you can just get the link copied here as well. And you can carry that wherever you want. So let's say we had multiple bundles or membership opportunities here. If I wanted to, I could reorder them, all right? so. I can reorder all of my products. This is basically when you when you go to reorder, it takes you to every product you have in the system. 
and it'll organize how these products show up when I when I search my main website as a user, right? Someone visiting my site, it, it'll it'll change the order in which they show up in the list. So if I want to, I could move my bundle. I could move it to the top. I could move it to the bottom. Here's the only thing I'm going to tell you about where you place this bundle. I place my products in order of value, right? Or price. I I place my highest priced options first, and then in descending order, my down to my lower priced products. So if your bundle includes all your stuff, it should cost more than each of those individual courses, obviously, and I would put it at the top. But if you have a reverse order kind of methodology with your site, you could put it at the bottom and then you can have your, your prices go from smallest to largest. But my advice to you is put your large prices first and then in descending order, you could uh, list the remainder of your products. So let's say the test bundle was the most expensive and my, um, my communities are, are gonna be my next tier and then, um, and then my courses are my third tier, right? So oh, it's moving all kinds of things around here. <laughs> Something's going on with the system. It's not happy with me. Okay, but you get you get the point, right? So you can move your products around, and um, oh, I see what's happening. It's got it's got a setting in the system that needs to be changed before it allow me to move that course. But so you can see here, this is fairly easy to do. Um, if you want to move these, you can you can grab them anywhere you want. But they're also you know indicating on the side here. You've got these these sets of dots here to show you that all you have to do is grab them and move them. And then, of course, if I want to see the bundle, if I want to see the course, I can just click on the button here with the arrow, and it takes me to that bundle. And that is pretty much all you need to know to manage a bundle in the system. Uh, just know that once you publish these, they're going to show up in your site. I will show you that one real quick. So let's go to our website. This is what... Um, people would see if they came to my website right now, right? And since this is just a, a dummy course, it's not formatted to look pretty, but you can see when, when you come to my site, it's showcased that there's the bundle right there. It's showcased on the front of the, of the uh, homepage because it's on my all products list. And then if I go to all courses, it's gonna show up here as well, all right? And then since I'm enrolled in it, if I go to my dashboard, communities are at the bottom and courses are at the top. Now you're not gonna see like bundle here because it's only giving you the courses and the communities listed. It won't say bundle, it'll just show the courses. So if that course I had bundled with it was published, it would show up here, but it's not, so it won't. Okay, well, that is today's lesson on memberships and bundles. If you have any questions, drop them in the discussion. Uh, and I will be more than happy to address them for you. So I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.